Morning, y'all. Geezer here. Uh, there's been some changes here at the Geezer Ranch. Uh, my kingdom was messed up, but now my kingdom is kind of back to normal. Uh, my big old dog, she's been her and I for the last 10 years or so, nine years, whatever it is. But uh, she died last month. Died in her sleep. Um, next to my chair is a glass coffee table, and that was her favorite sleeping spot. She'd go behind my chair and stick her head and shoulders under that glass table. That's where she likes sleeping. On July the 6th, when I got up, she didn't. She was there and dead and went during the night. So she gone. But... It was kind of hard, but I got over it and uh, moved along. Now we have three new additions. Three. One, two, three. To the geezer household, and I'm fixing to go over them with you. Stand by. All right. First edition. I got, got my hands on this uh, G-Force 12-gauge shotgun they had it on sale for $99 you can't I couldn't walk away it's chambered for three inch shells so and uh, no choke so I can put slugs in it and go deer hunting with it it's a nice little gun and it shoots pretty good and uh, it's got this little nifty little rack here to hold a few extras they really they really fit tight now I suppose in a year or two they'll be loose and falling out you know what I mean so but it's a nice little shotgun I've shot it a couple of times my neighbor shot it a couple of times uh, comes from uh, G Force Arms in Reno Nevada uh, manufactured in Turkey so I guess I have to learn to speak another language but it is what it is I like it it's really it's, a, it's really light it's got a good kick to it I don't know if you can see it there's a bean can on there Bean can is gone. Woo! <laughs> All right. That was that's number one addition to the Geezer Homestead. All right. Addition number two is a Revolutionary Arms TRP-35 Bullpup 12-gauge shotgun. I got it on sale, too, for $199. Uh, last month must have been shotgun month, as far as I can tell. Uh, I got coming today. I got a red dot sight for it and uh, some sling adapters. And uh, I can't shoot slugs in this one because it's got chokes. But I'm thinking with all the woods, you don't have very long shots anyway. I'm thinking maybe buckshot will work just fine for deer, too. So we'll see. I might try it out just to see. But at any rate, it's a pretty nifty little thing, and I've always wanted a bullpup type weapon, and uh, the price was right. And uh, it, too, was manufactured in Turkey. And it's chambered for three-inch shells also. So, uh, but this is really fun to shoot. It comes with two five round magazines uh, the day I got it my neighbor and I each shot a magazine full I mean, it was fun it was pretty fun I mean can't beat, can't beat it I don't think alright now this Rev Arms TRP 35 Hunter I think I mentioned it comes with two five round magazines but you can get 10 round magazines for it and even a 25 round drum. So I may go get a couple of them. 
got a couple of those uh, 10 round magazines but this thing seems to have less kick than the other one but it's a little heavier even though it's considerably shorter Sweet. And locks open like a good gun. So that's number three big change to the geezer household. So what do you think? So we got we got the passing of one, the big one. The addition of the shotgun, the addition of the bullpup shotgun. So what's the what's the fourth thing? Well, I'm fixing to show you. Oh, come on. This here little guy. It's 55 pounds, two years old, and mostly cur, C-U-R. The vet said he also sees a little mastiff in him, but I'm not sure about that. But he's taken up residence here. He does pretty good. He's two years old, so he's half settled, but he's 55 pounds of a lot of energy. And, and uh, I named him House after Dr. House, for those of you old enough to remember Dr. House. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Keep him there for a minute. See if I can get this camera adjusted here. There he is. That's house. Yeah, see? That's what you get. Quit. So I had him to the vet. He goes back to the vet this Friday to get neutered. I might have to change his name to Trans then, huh? So, but that's his name is House after Doctor House. He's mostly cur. And it shows when he sees a squirrel or a rabbit, he wants to go. So I got to I got to break him at his jump, and he wants to jump all the time. He's pretty much out of it, quit it in the house. He got tired of eating the knee, but he's doing pretty good for a two-year-old. Another year, he'll be settled down pretty good. So. He's a handful. I can't let him off the leash yet. I didn't, and a couple of times he got the scent and went off over down in the holler. And uh, one time I had to go, I found him up on the hill way up at another neighbor's house up there. She, she'd she seen him and was trying to corral him, which he wasn't cooperating, but we got him. And uh, so the vet said, just keep him on a leash till after we get him neutered and then he'll be, he'll be better. So we'll see. And I got a whistle here. Yeah. Old military whistle, and I'm trying to train him to come to that and settle down when I blow it. So we'll see how it goes. So, so there you have it. That's the additions: house, and two shotguns, and one take a one pass on. So life continues on. Things change. We got to adapt, or sit on the couch and wait to die. You know what to do. Friday, 0600, be there or be square. See ya.